I would like to give you guys a hint as to a place we will be going. Portugal! You are right! I have been so unhappy that I have been crying for no very good reason. Mm -hmm. Those questions tell me that something's really not right, that you're struggling. I'm struggling. How about signing to my lady? What? Are you crazy? Yeah, I'm crazy. Yeah. Oh, my God. Wendy shared with us that you had to kind of like bail Ray out with your money, and you wanted the money back. It would be different. No, 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 no. Okay. Something you didn't do. It's always said with a hint of funk to it. Some, um, OK. It's very stressful. I already got their waters and stuff in the that. fridge. I saw it in there when I looked. Uh -huh. If the judge believed your story and never heard mine, I could be arrested in front of my kids. That rusty ass bitch. If you're gonna come after me, then I, I have no choice but to come after you. Well, since we're all together, Robin, thank you so much for having us. And the timing just couldn't have been better. Love it. Because, you know, uh, I have been very open with you guys about my postpartum journey that I've been on so far. And I saw a therapist who recommended that I start getting back to the things that I like to do. So that means like yoga and traveling. And those are the things that really spark my passions. So she actually suggested that I start thinking about traveling again with some of my friends. I would like to give you guys a hint <gasps> as to a place I've been dying to go. Oh my God. Is it China? What? Portugal! Wendy! What? It's not China. What is it? Is it Nigeria? You are right! I've been wanting to go to Portugal for a long time. Take a peek at the Look wine. At the wine. Okay. Look at the wine. And hopefully it will be enough to distract me from thinking about my baby back home. Are you are you bringing baby the D? Information. You're not. Uh, bringing, you're not I'm bringing so baby D. Oh. Oh. Who else is coming? Okay. Yeah. Is this just us? Yes. Um, yes. So, uh, Monique any... will not be coming. Okay. I understand that it would make a lot of people uncomfortable. So Monique everyone relax. Coming. Don't don't have to sleep one eye open. She's not coming. <laughs> Ultimately, I decided to not invite Monique on the trip. Monique would have felt on edge. The women would have been upset. Some of them probably wouldn't have even come. And I can't have everybody raining on my parade. Wendy shared with us. Oh, talk about it. Go ahead, tell me. She said that you had to kind of like bail Ray out with your money and that that was kind of like stressful for you. All right, let me hold on. This yeah. was in the moment in the basement of the house in Newburgh. Oh, I was we, we're having a kiki mama? Oh, yeah. we're okay, that, that makes sense. Yes, yeah. I said, I soldiered up for Ray. That is why we are where we are today, thank God. And it's in our rearview mirror. But th the reason why it struck me, because she was, she felt like it was kind of a stressful thing for you because you wanted the money back from him. Ooh, There's some that's a reach, but no, no. You're saying Wendy said that? Yes. Oh, well, that's not true. Girl, I want my money back. I need a return. <laughs> <laughs> Ray and I are going through a lot. And for Wendy to take that information that I shared with her back to Giselle and make it gossip and make fun of it, it's not cool. It's not all right. It sounded like she was saying there was some sort of resentment behind it. No resentment. And that's her interpretation. But, but I felt like y'all were getting to a close place because you I shared some intimate are. things with her. Winnie and I are going to be fine, but it's about respecting each other. You called her ignorant? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nope, she didn't share that. <laughs> She was like, no, you're straddling the fish. You saw this brutal attack. And then I said, for a very intelligent woman, you're extremely ignorant. I don't know anything about blackouts. I don't know anything about fits of anger. This is medical. Mm -hmm. And you say you're a doctor. She's not a medical doctor. She, no one thought <laughs> what she was. What the medical doctor, doctor have to no do one with the conversation? Was, <laughs> the point was, she was speaking authoritatively to okay. me. Let me show you how Wendy came down the steps. You ready? OK. I knew I was in Wendy trouble. She was like. Oh, my God. <laughs> my ears. <laughs> wow. 
I'm gonna get this child. That rusty ass bitch. Relax. Just let it play out. But you, but like, you, you literally have, you have no common sense. You have no scruples. Candace. You have nothing. You're listening to your weak ass lawyer and your stupid ass hood rat friends and letting them tell you what the to do. You look stupid. Then let her look stupid. Why be so angry about it? Because you have a lot of, you have like a, that's a lot of nerve. Candace. Like, Ooh. Lit, it's fine. It's fine. You, we already knew this was gonna happen. Never in my entire 33 years of life have I encountered a person who could be this arrogant and evil and sociopathic that you think you have a case to counter sue me for what you did. Two people are the reason that that fight happened. So if you're gonna come after me, then I, I have no choice but to come after you. If I had to think about it, I think we were both pretty unhappy, sexually, emotionally. Um, I think sexually, mm -hmm. because I don't feel sexy. I don't feel, I feel like I'm a utility for Dean. For Dean. Mm -hmm. A lot of women feel that way. And so when he's like touching me or kissing me, I'm like, mm -mm. it's for Dean. That's how I feel. And it's, I know it's not fair and I know it's not right. I just feel like that's not fair. My husband, you know, when he met me, I was bubbly, I was carefree, and mm -hmm. that's who I was. And then I've changed. You initially came in because of postpartum depression. So I wanted us to get a baseline today. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've looked forward with enjoyment to things as much as I ever did, rather less than I used to, definitely less than I used to, hardly at all. Definitely less than I used to. I have felt scared or panicky for no very good reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, quite a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes, sometimes. Quite a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have been so unhappy that I have been crying. Mm -hmm. Yes, most of the time. Yes, quite often. I'd say quite often. Okay. Yeah. Those questions tell me that something's really not right that you're struggling. I'm struggling. Yeah. I used to be a person who loved experiencing life. And since having the baby, I feel more like I'm in a box. I don't really know how to get out, and I don't know how to let other people in. Yeah.